How you guys doing? My name is Savannah Kirkland, and as you can tell from the title, I'm here to color my hair with coffee and black tea. Here I have Ogline tea, and it's considered a black tea. And I also have organic ground coffee. All my ingredients tonight will not be organic. This is just something that I have inside my home, okay? I'm gonna use all ingredients that I already have in my home. This is a experiment, but if it works and you guys um, do this home remedy, please let me know at the bottom. All the ingredients I have specialized in stimulating blood to your scalp and growing your hair. And you guys, the reason why I decided to do a natural chemical coloring is because my hair came out real bad and I'm gonna insert a picture here. And that was one week after I used my natural hair growth products and my hair actually grew there. Okay, you guys, I suffer from PCOS and I'm gonna put up here now what is PCOS. And one of the symptoms from PCOS is male baldness. And I suffered and lost hair in the past, but I always grew it back with herbs. So, but this particular hair loss, you guys, it put me in a, Great depression it was so hard on me because I was never completely bald around my edges um, I had thin hair on the top in the middle of my head I was bald headed in the back as well I didn't realize that my hair had came out so bad until um, my daughter was taking out my braids it was in a protective hairstyle and she said mom she said mom you are literally going bald almost all your hair came out your head so i haven't even looked in the mirror i was sitting down while she was taking my braids out and i knew when my daughter told me that that she was telling the truth because my daughter is the type of child that no matter what she's going to say something positive to her mom and she she tries to spare my feelings about everything so when this particular child that i have said mom your ball most of your hair came out I knew she was telling the truth when I went to the mirror I was shaking before I got to the mirror I was shaking and my hair was gone I haven't been to the dermatologist yet because the dermatologist never really helped me so um, I've, I've been to them throughout the years but they never really helped me so I decided to take it upon myself and my mom said, won't you try Oliveira? I said, okay, let me do a little research about it. And everyone was raving about it. A lot of people was raving about Oliveira gel on um, YouTube. So I tried it, you guys, and it did not work for me. So I was already devastated. It made me feel worse because it's working for all these people and it's not working for me. And I have to wear a wig. I did some research and I said, well, each of our bodies are different, okay? So maybe if I add some herbs to the product, my hair will grow back, okay? So I created some natural hair growth oil and I created um, some olive aurora spray, but it has some herbs, herbs in it. And also, also I created a hair growth stimulating mix and these three products work you guys. I'm going to show you a picture of my um, five weeks um, results. I wanted to color my hair with something natural that stimulates growth. Everything that I put in this, you guys, is stimulates growth. So I'm gonna make this home remedy with you guys. And also, I'm gonna give you a four weeks review. I'm gonna see how long it lasts because I put each of these products in my hair. This is a liquid, this is an oil. This is like, this is a hair cream that I put in my hair every week. So I want my dye to last, you guys. 
So um, if you guys want to check out these products, check out my website. I have an Etsy website. It will be linked below. So let's get started. So I have my pan here and this is one third cup of black tea, Hublon tea. This is one third of organic brown coffee. And I'm going to add some herbs, you guys, because I couldn't help myself to help stimulate it. So I have one third of rosemary. One third of sage. And it looks like it's a little more, but you know, sage is just fluffy, you guys. And because I'm wild and crazy, I got some bay leaves. And I'm going to put the nutritional value down below. And a fennel grease. I have one third cup of slippery amp. So I'm going to add the aloe vera. And this is one that is um, bitter free, non not unpleasant taste, no preservatives or additives. So this is an awesome item that I got one of my food pantries. I don't have particular measurements, so I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna start off with one cup. It looks and tastes like water. I think I'm gonna add another cup. So it's gonna be two cups. So I'm gonna stir this up. I'll let you guys know how long I boil it and then I'm gonna drain it. And this is step, this is step one, okay? All these steps are step one and now I'll be back with step two. Hey you guys, I'm still in part one. I'm using a brand new stocking cap which has a hole in it, by the way. I think from the hot uh, coffee um, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it has a hole in it. And I'm draining it, and I have these tongues helping me to squeeze it because it's still kind of hot. Um, the slippery imp gets thick, so I didn't want to wait until it cooled off completely to strain it. I wanted to strain it now because I didn't want it to be too difficult once the slippery and warm up completely I'm doing a protective style of my hair you guys so i'm just sorry about the front part getting the, the gray because because of my new growth i have a lot of gray when i lost it it was brown it came back all gray Okay, you guys, I want to strain it out again because I want to make sure there's no seeds from the fenugreek and, you know, I just want to make sure there's nothing left over in here. So I'm going to strain it in here. Look at that. Look at there. Um, part two, I have two teaspoons of instant coffee. In part one, we use ground coffee. In part two, we're using two tablespoons of instant coffee. Next, I have two and a half teaspoons of arrowroot, and it is a thickener. I don't know if I want to use the whole thing. I'll use the whole thing. Okay. 
So you guys, we're gonna put this on so we're gonna put it on medium and stir it, get to as thick as you like. I'll be back. The last ingredient I put in was the arrowroot, which is the thickener. It made sure light brown, and I thought I was gonna to have to add some more coffee, but once I put it on medium heat, and I start stirring about 15 minutes to, um, to get like this. Well, I, I still have one more ingredient, you guys. That is the white vinegar. So the white vinegar will, um, Dilute it a little bit because I don't want it to get too thin. I'm back. I put white vinegar in and I actually didn't put a little too much. I also put some honey in here. It got real light, you guys. So I put it back on the stove and it darkened it back up. So I like the, the consistency of this. I'm going to put it in this container here. I don't know if I need two, so I got two of them. And these just the Dollar Tree um, containers. Take my syringe here. I think it will be easier this way. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go put the homemade hair dye in my head. I'm going to take some before and after pictures, so stay tuned. 